Papa John, day 96. We have toured, it's a tough day, we toured the Yingling Brewery this morning. What is this, the Long, Long Trout Winery? Long Trout Winery. You know, we're doing the tours today. We toured Mr. Yingling's house in Pottsville. Yeah, that, was really cool. that was really cool. So now, let's check out some wines. The Port Clinton Fire Company is like a social club. And we just had the all-you-can-eat spaghetti dinner. And you can go in there. They serve pints of beer for like $1.25, Yingling, which we visited the Yingling Brewery today. So that was... That was a good way to finish it off. So, I'm gonna have Mama John here explain to you because I can't describe it to you. I'm gonna. What do hikers smell like? Oh, hiker funk. It um, it brings on the gag reflex. Yeah, but what does it smell like? There's nothing that I've ever smelled that smells like that. If you pick up a hiker or two that have been on the trail and put them in your car and the windows are closed, be prepared. It's ugly. <laughs> but it's okay. I get to see John. When so did I, I smell the worst? The first time I picked you up, but maybe that was because I wasn't used to that smell. Yeah. And it was such a shock. Yeah. Yeah. I had there were two other hikers with us. There were us two too. other hikers. You in get the car. three hikers in a car. Yeah, that was pretty bad. We that were all wet bad. too. Yeah, the other day was pretty bad with you and the other guy in the car too. With the two yeah. With you. Yeah. That was bad. Okay. So. Here we go. Papa John Day 97, coming up on 100. Took a zero yesterday, had a good time, and uh, everything was pretty good, except there was a wedding party at the Microtel in Hamburg, and these people were loud, slamming doors, yelling until four in the morning. And apparently on two floors, my floor and the one below it. So it was a rough night. This is what we're looking at today. You can see, it's just, uh, it's not swampy, so that's a good thing. It is a little slick, the roots and the rocks. It rained a lot last night, but I'm not complaining. If I can keep my feet dry, that'll be nice, because uh, as you may know, as Mama John explained, hikers don't smell too good. And the, the worst thing about the hiker smell is probably the feet and the shoes, if you can imagine that. As you can see, the trail's actually pretty good today. Even though it rained a lot last night, this part of the trail is not flooded out. It's not bad. I'm enjoying this. It's a nice cool day. It's supposed to get a little stormy towards 2 o'clock, but that's okay. Mama John is headed back down south. I could not do this journey without all her help. She brought the scale up and I weighed in at 161. So uh, my total weight loss right now is, I think that's 28 pounds, about 28 pounds. And I think that's where I'll stay. I've been kind of at that level for about a month now. But when she comes up here, we pack in a lot of activity in that one zero day. So we. It's almost like we have two or three dates. We try to pack in as much fun as we can in that one zero day. I told you about blue blazes. Pretty hard to miss these blue blazes. These are, these are marked up pretty good. You're not gonna miss. If you're looking for this blue blaze, I don't think you're gonna miss it. I'm pointing this camera straight ahead. You can see it goes up. It's been going up for a little bit. This is called Pulpit Rock and I just met a guy named Giles. He was riding his bike on these rocks. And he was going down a long stretch, so I said, let me film it. And he, he said, okay. And I, I didn't start the film. I didn't start videoing. I thought I had a heavy pack. <laughs> Look at that. At least I'm not carrying a human behind me. Gotta stop and take care of him, but. This is Pulpit Rock. Hey. Oh, this looks awesome. Yeah. Obviously, I'm getting used to Pennsylvania because I was looking at this thinking, 
this isn't too bad. Hey, it's pretty much all rock. At least there's no water. I was thinking about how this is day 97 and just in the last few days I've actually, I'm starting to actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. I know it seems like this will go on forever, but I know I'll be in New Jersey pretty soon and that won't, that's not a long state. New York's a short state. Connecticut's a short state as far as the miles on the trail. And I know there's a lot more to do. I mean, 900 miles is nothing to sneeze at. But, you know, psychologically, after you get over that midway point and your miles to go drops under 1,000, you know, I don't know if it happens for everybody, but for me, I'm just starting to feel like the end is way off in the distance, but I can start to see it. And... I just want to try not to get injured. Maybe I have two months and two weeks. But anyway, that's my perspective. This doesn't last forever. And instead of counting the miles up, I'm kind of counting them down now. I'm less than two miles from my camp, which has water. Otherwise, I'd stop here. That looks like a great water source. We've got a nice trail right now. Just gonna keep walking. Drunken trombone 